The superintendent of Oklahoma City Public Schools says several days of virtual learning and a long holiday weekend were needed to make sure schools were safe and staffed. You know, since we went remote Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, that gave us a six day opportunity to get teachers back who are in quarantine. Dr. Sean McDaniel said while in-person instruction is always preferred, they had no choice. It just began overwhelming us. Um, we were adding more and more schools uh, daily, and we believed that it was in our best interest just to reset. But Tuesday, the district announced most students and staff would be returning to the classroom on Wednesday. What was the threshold where you felt that you could return to uh, for most of the district to have in-person instruction? It's not a single number threshold per se. As we look at the numbers, as we look at the transmission rates, as we talk to the county health department, we then make a decision on whether or not we can open back up district-wide. McDaniel says thanks to subs brought in from their central office as well as state agencies lending employees, only two grade levels at a single school had to remain remote today. So it's a process, Andy. It's not just a, you know, there's a cutoff number. If we're above or below, we make a decision. It's a process. And to give you a picture of how bad it was last week, 600 staff members called out. Right now, it is getting better thanks to masking and that short break. Yesterday, there were around 450 that called out. And today, so far for tomorrow, there are 339 that are being called out. The typical amount of call outs during a non-pandemic era is around 100.